You're watching Copilot Masterclass. In this episode, we are going to learn about how can you use Copilot in Whiteboard. Let's begin. First, let's go and learn how can you use Copilot in Whiteboard to spark new ideas. You can access Whiteboard by going into whiteboard.microsoft.com and log in with your organization's credentials. This is where you would be able to access your Whiteboard. Additionally, you can download an app as well. So go to the Microsoft Store, search for Whiteboard and download the Microsoft Whiteboard. So click on Get. It's downloaded. You can launch it or pin to start. I'm going to pin to start and click on Open. So you can use Copilot in either the rich client, which is what we just downloaded from the App Store, or you could use Copilot in the online version as well. All right, so let me maximize it. You can see your existing Whiteboards here. If you want to work on this particular document with the help of Copilot, you can click on this. So for this exercise, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the home page and click on new whiteboard. All right. So when you open a blank whiteboard, Copilot launches by default and it asks you, do you want to start with the whiteboard with the help of Copilot? So I'm going to ask Copilot to suggest inexpensive ways to optimize our website for organic search and click send. All right, so based on our question, I got like few suggestions. Suggestions like utilize long tail keywords, optimize images for speed, implement internal linking structure, use meta tags and description, create valuable content, etc. So if I like these suggestions, I can click on insert or I can click on regenerate more or I can go and click on edit and add more things to the prompt. So I'm going to edit. I'm going to add more things to the prompt. The additional data I have given to the existing prompt is to optimize our website for search engine optimization and click send. All right. So additionally, uh, I got one more suggestion as well to ensure mobile friendliness. So if I like these suggestions, all I have to do is click on insert. If I don't like any particular suggestion, um, I can click on cancel that and delete a particular suggestions. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on insert. All right. So it inserted the suggestions what provided by Copilot. Now I can start working on the content. And once you get it, you can click on the color picker to change the color. You can modify the style. You can add comment, etc. At the same time, you have the Copilot button as well. So you can click on suggest. So if you want to further modify it and you could add more data, all you have to do is click on suggest again and that opens up Copilot one more time. Here you would be able to click on generate more. It created additional sections as well. So in the previous document, we only had like one, two, five and now we have 12 suggestions. So I can click on insert the additional content. So now I have a good starting point for an inexpensive way to optimize the website which is optimized for search engine as well. Now with all these data available, I can collaborate, brainstorm with my team to come up with a solid plan to optimize my website for search engines. Now that we have used Copilot to create some idea on your blank whiteboard. Now let's go and learn how can you organize your ideas using Copilot in whiteboard. Additionally, if you want to categorize these sections or the topics what you have created you can select a bunch of topics you have created and you can click on categorize and copilot will go ahead and categorize these notes for you all right so now it quickly aligned these notes what we have built into different color and it created a new category as well so it says that there is a section for on page um, there is a section for off page uh, there is a section category for content and there is a section for mobile. So now we can divide the task and work with the team to realign it and focus on different section. If you don't like what Copilot have done, you can always click on revert or you can click on regenerate as well. So that can go ahead and create in a different format. So this time it changed the categories into one page SEO, content creation, link building and uh, mobile optimization. This is fantastic. So I'm going to keep it, click on keep it. So that's how you can start from a blank page and get a good starting point to start working on the project, what you are intend to do.
Now let's go and learn what if you have a lot of content in your whiteboard and you want to understand what you're working on or you want to get a quick summary of what you're working on. Let's go and learn how to do that. So let's assume this is the page you're working on uh, with lots of your teammates, everybody is collaborating in it and uh, you invited a new person into this particular workbook and before giving a rundown, that particular person wants to get an idea about what it has been done, what are you guys working on. That person can click on this co-pilot and click on summarize. So we looked into suggest and categorize. For anybody new coming in who doesn't have any context of what it is, they can always click on summarize. So co-pilot is going to look through the data which is available in this particular workbook and it is going to summarize the data for it. All right, it tells me who are the participants uh, in this document. It's only me. Um, that's why it is only shown my name. When it has been created, how many ideas generated? It says that there are 17 ideas. The main theme of this whiteboard session is for SEO optimization, content improvement, user experience, media optimization, things like that. And these are the things which is discussed. This is absolutely amazing. So I can always click on keep it. What it's going to happen is it's going to create a loop component and it's going to create within this whiteboard itself so anybody new coming in they they don't even have to go through it and you can always go and add new data to it so that's how you can get quick summary of the document now let's go and learn some additional whiteboard prompt examples so let's go back to your whiteboard and i'm gonna start a new whiteboard here and select the copilot and click on suggest and i'm gonna ask a new prompt Suggest common questions that can be asked to get a retrospective started with my colleagues. So click send. All right, so it gave me a good starting point. Some suggestions include what went well, what needs improving, what's holding back and things like that. I can click on insert. Once you have these cards inserted, you can of course go and click on categorize so that it can align it based on different categories. All right, so now we have four different sections. One section for improvement question, one section for challenges, one section for learnings and actions. Absolutely great. If you don't like it, you can always click on regenerate and it can come up with a new idea or a different perspective of looking into the same data as well. So this time it categorizes into success, improvements, barriers and learnings. All right, I'm going to keep it. Let's try one more prompt. Uh, go to new whiteboard. Let's do something fun. So let's ask a prompt. Uh, brainstorm a list of character names for an animated movie based in the year 3023 and click send. So I got like six names. So click insert Zion, Xander, Nova, Aurora, Luna, Atlas, etc. So I can click on categorize as well. Let's see what copilot comes up with the categorization. All right, so the character names and unusual names. Uh, I don't know what does it mean by unusual name. Let's click on regenerate. All right, so first name, space themed, elemental, mythical. This is much, much better. I get these names based on themes as well. This is absolutely amazing because these names are categorized based on themes. Let us go and try one more prompt. I'm gonna go back to whiteboard, click on copilot, click on suggest. I'm going to ask Copilot to suggest as chief compliance officer ways to define compliance protocol in my company. Click send. I get some suggestions. I can insert it. Suggestions include identify applicable regulations, establish internal policy guidelines, review and update protocols, etc. I'm going to quickly categorize it. And this is another great starting point where these suggestions are categorized into regulations, internal policy, training, risk assessment, etc. I hope the information was helpful. I will see you on the next one. Take care.